Hello, friends. Good morning to y'all. God, whoo, he's amazing. That's why I praise his name every day. We ought to all. You know why? Because be of good cheer, as he says in John 16, 33. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. His name is Jesus. He has overcome everything. So we need to seek him. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually. As it says in 1 Chronicles 16, 11. But this morning, we'll go to Exodus. Now, please turn to Exodus 2. <laughs> Second book of the Bible. Second book of the Bible. Second book of Moses. I said yesterday there's three by three books of Moses. It actually was five. There's five. The first five books of the Bible are Moses. I was corrected by my EBD Encyclopedia Dictionary Bible. <laughs> what y'all say? He's a smart young man. I was I just playing with him. But y'all please turn there. Y'all pause. Exodus and tax deeds and certificates. Two ten. Here we go. And the child grew. And she brought him into Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called his name Moses, and she said, Because I drew him out of the water. He drew Moses out of the water. As 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 they were hiding in the last chapter for three months. I'm talking about that here in just a second. Now please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all. Jesus, help us all focus on you and your word. Not this ungodly, sinful, temporary world, Lord. Help us, Jesus, put you first before everything, Lord. Help us give you thanks every morning. You're the one that you're the one that wakes us up every morning. Help us all to understand that and not procrastinate. Put it off, put it off, put it off. Getting saved. Help us all get saved by your grace through faith, which is a gift from God, not works. But see, man, she boasts, Lord. Help us all focus on you and your word. Help me this morning as I preach in your precious Oh, and I help the boys and everything they do. Lord, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of Logan and Ethan. Ethan and Logan. They, Ethan just graduated. I'm so proud of Logan. He just finished ninth grade. Help, them, help my boys, Lord. Help them grow, draw closer to you. <laughs> help them draw closer to me, too, Lord, please. I sure do miss them, but I may, have to, I may be going out of town here again soon. I don't know what's going to happen. But you got a plan, Lord. I think I had to see the doctor. See the doctor Tuesday. I believe I'm healed, Lord, please. Put me back to work where you want me, Lord. Use me, Jesus. Thank you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Get yeah, old for the pay. Good morning to you, Ryan, my, my young brother in Christ. Because she hid him for three months. She hid him for three months. Because uh, they were wanting to try to try to kill the, all the newborn, the newborn, uh, the newborn boys not the girls they want to try to kill the newborn baby boys because because the slowdown israel's increase they were trying to not have all the males increase i guess they had too many females i'm not sure at all but the pharaoh was trying to kill all the baby boys and all the hebrew boys so she hit him for three months we go to one one and two number two, chapter two play. one and two and there went a man of the house of Levi and took to wife a daughter of Levi and the woman conceived and bare a son and she saw him that he was a goodly son a goodly child she hid him for three months and that was that was Moses where I said earlier about the name Exodus 2 10 right here where it says and the child grew and she brought him into Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son and she called his name Moses because she drew him out of the water as we just read about that, but we need to put him first before everything, guys. We can't be living for living for this world. We need to live for Jesus. We need to put Jesus first before everything because we need to choose Jesus. In the First John four nine, where it says right here, in there, and this was manifest the love of God toward us because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world that He might live, that we might live through Him. It says something like in First John four nine. We need to live for Jesus. He is the answer. She, she she poured him out of the water and she hit him for three months and then he when he grew she named him Moses. He was, he was, and and the child grew and she brought him into Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son and she called his name Moses and she said because I drew him out of the water. Now Pharaoh's daughter, his daughter cared. Five through six, we'll go five through six. And the daughter Pharaoh came to wash herself at the river and her maidens walked along the by the riverside and when she saw the ark among the, fl the flags she went her maid to fetch it and when she had opened it she saw the child and behold the babe wept 
and she had compassion on him. See, she cared. She saw this what this baby in the water, so she she cared for it. She's gonna say, "No, no, no, we're gonna we're gonna take care of this baby." And she had compassion on him and said, "This is one of the Hebrews' children." Seven, seven through nine. Then and she paid. She paid for the mother. She paid. Some of us are blessing because she found a child and she, she paid the mother to take care of it. And on that, I guess, I don't believe she said that. Yeah, that's my baby. But, but she, they're like, she she paid her to take care of her own child. That's that's pretty awesome. She was hiding him for, not, for them not to kill the baby. She was trying, hiding her own baby where they wouldn't kill the baby. And then, and then they found her and then they, they paid her to take care of her own baby. So that's, that's a blessing right there. We go seven through nine. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go call to thee a nurse to, to the, of the Hebrew women that she may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said to her, go. And the maid went and called the child's mother. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, take this child away and nurse it for me and I will, pay, I will give thee thy wages. And then the woman took the child and nursed it. That's amazing right there. It's a blessing. Now, God has respect. Third, third one this morning. You know, Paul, one second. And you know, any people up early on Saturday mornings, praising the Lord. But I'm up every day praising the Lord because he woke me up. Fresh air to breathe. He's amazing, guys. Can't take it for granted. He is in control, like I said earlier. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. His name is Jesus Christ. In John 16, 33. Now, 24th through 25, here we go. And God had respect for Israel's children. And God heard their groanings. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. His Lord Savior is in control, guys. He is in control. Let's understand that God is in control. We need to cry out to Jesus every single day of our life, and then not be forgetting about him. Because if you get saved and then you get get away from his word, he's going to chastise you. He's going to bring you back. But things are going to happen. You're going to go, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I got away from you. It's uh, That's how it's going on with me right now. But God's got a plan. I'm healed, I believe. And I'm going to be going to work very shortly, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm going to go back to the union and make good money or if I'm still going to try to get a permanent job. I don't know what I'm going to do. Please pray for my situation. Please pray for my boys and our relationship. Because in Job 19, 25, where it says right here, guys, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he that shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Let's live for Jesus. He is in control, guys. Let's cry out to him every single day of our life. Y'all, please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all. Help us all cry out to you every single day of our lives, Lord. Help us to understand that you're the one in control. Help us to not try to live on our own. Help us to give you thanks every day. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For your mercy endureth forever, Lord, as you, you say in Psalms. Thank you, Jesus. You're so awesome and amazing. Please guide us all, direct us all, keep us all safe in everything we do. Help me here this morning as I preach. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys and yes, because he is in control. Because we have hope in him. Let's cry out to him, guys. Y'all pause one more second. Thank you, sir. There is a hope for the helpless, a rest for the weary, a lo love for the broken heart. There is grace and forgiveness, mercy and healing. He'll meet you wherever you are. Cry out to Jesus. Woo, cry out to Jesus. Sing it with me. Woo, there is a hope for the helpless, a rest for the weary, a love for the broken Get high. There is grace and forgiveness, mercy and healing. He'll meet you wherever you are. Cry out to Jesus. Woo, cry out to Jesus. Now, he put a verse on here. I want to try to remind me of a verse. Thank you, there, Philip. Hey. And Jeremiah. Jeremiah is after uh, Isaiah. And after, uh, yeah, after Isaiah, after Psalms and all that. We're going to read Jeremiah 33. He just put that on there for me. It's a good verse. So if I always remind me, God is amazing, guys. Yeah, let's read this real quick. Come unto me, 
who come unto me and I'll answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Phil. That's awesome. He is amazing. His name is Jesus, guys. Yeah, he puts the word on our hearts. The Holy Spirit puts the word on our hearts for the right person to hear out there. Right, did you hear that word? Are you listening to this word every day? We need to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it. Let's dig in and try not to sin, guys. And yes, well, God bless y'all. Thank you for tuning in early this morning. I'm about to be watching my pastor here in a little while. I gotta go make it a little short for YouTube because we gotta let this world know about Jesus. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. As it says so back in on. Wow, my mind just went brain. Wow, my mind went. Fifteen, sixteen, Mark. Fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, God's amazing. Well, God bless y'all. Thank y'all so much. It's early, girl. Yeah, bye, bye.